Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update Wednesday, August 1st, 11.32 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Seismic activity continues at the caldera. Fisher 8 continues to spew lava into the perch channel. Lays plume as big as ever over at the Kilauea summit there and Fisher 8. But what they're not telling you is that it is cooling down. Now we're going to get to this lava flow in just a minute. And it's going to show us uh, some amazing facts here. Here, look, the hot lava is now all dark for over a mile towards the ocean. There are some little breakout areas here. But the main perch channel is cooling back towards Fisher 8. Now there are still hundreds of square miles of lava covering what were once homes. And the upper portions of the channel are still quite active. But much of the lower portions are now covered over down here towards the ocean entry. And that means that this lava is now traveling underground in the subsurface in lava tubes. Heads up. We're going to be monitoring this. We could see more outbreak explosions at the coast like the one that injured the people, the tourists that got too close. Just my prediction. And we're going to be watching it closely. Let's get on with the update. Record rains put sunflower selfies. Summer watermelons at risk as Maryland farmers fight erratic weather. And what does that mean? The recent wet weather took a bit of a toil on Hartford's popular sunflower crop, causing the Rose family to have to replant their just over 20 acres in Jarrettsville, while the smaller field at Broom's Bloom is coming along nicely. This is the erratic weather that we should be expecting for the next few years, which are going to cause prices at the supermarket to spike starting this fall and into the winter. Washington Post's fourth wettest July on record and rainiest since 1945. Totally fluxed. It rained, it rained, it rained. A river in the sky pointed at the mid-Atlantic during the second half of July, and it is continued to continue raining. This has resulted in historic Totally fluxed rainfall tallies in the Washington and Baltimore regions. And really crappy baseball games. <laughs> Why isn't that racing? And that's a boom. Tonight's first boom but brought to us. Yes, winter is coming. Unprecedented rains caused major flooding in North Georgia. Yes, the U.S., not the country. This is Atlanta and Gainesville. We're talking just north of that region. Totally fluxed. Severe storms dumped more than five inches of rain across Cedartown Tuesday afternoon in a matter of three hours, causing flash flooding. We've never seen it like this, resident Chris Lee said. Yeah, because their backyard had four feet of water in it. The couple who have lived in their house along the North Cape Spring Creek Street for five years said... They've only been there for five years and clearly hadn't been there when other flooding events like this happened. God, some people. Okay, any day now. And that's boom. <laughs> Man, we have fun here. But we're really having trouble with bandwidth. And as the powers that be reduce it because they don't want you to hear what I have to say, you have to bear with us. Most importantly, learn to defend yourself on your own. And we're going to get to that. And soon we'll get to something else. Severe storms, northeast airport travel delays. I just told you there are unprecedented storm levels here. Now severe thunder thunderstorms with damaging winds, hail, tornadoes possible in the northeast into Wednesday evening, which is now. Heads up New York, Syracuse, Harrisburg. Philly, severe thunderstorms will flare up in parts of the Northeast Wednesday evening. Damaging winds, hail, and isolated tornadoes. Flash flooding are possible. Hail is possible, probable, and guaranteed. Severe thunderstorms, possible threats of damaging winds, hail, and isolated tornadoes are possible in the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic into Wednesday evening. Let's check the Weather Ready Nation map because this uh, weather channel. Oh, please, come through. We're totally locked. Nothing's happening. Thank you, Weather Channel, for screwing the pooch. Now, I swear, they're sending Trojan horses my way. We're heading to the Weather Ready Nation map, National Weather Service. 
because we are Weather Ready Nation ambassadors of the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. Heavy rainfall and flooding concerns continue across the east. Fire weather concerns across the west. Flash flooding remains possible for parts of the Gulf Coast and the northeast over the next few days. As plentiful amounts of Gulf, mo Gulf moisture streams northward across the region and out of the west. The opposite is the case where very dry and hot conditions will continue to fuel wildfire threats this weekend up in the west and the northwest. But heads up for flash flooding along the Appalachians at any time, as well as historic catastrophic hail, and get your helmets on. And that's a boom. That's a helmet boom. Helmet cam boom. Send me your pictures. Learn to defend yourself because they're coming. Storm, wind, hail, leave trail of damage through Montana. Yep. It doesn't always totally get destroyed, just sometimes. A topple tree in the city park smashes the railings and footbridge across Spring Creek in front of Chateau Pavilion. That's how I found out we were in Montana, because that's where Chateau Pavilion is. A violent thunderstorm traveling across U.S. Highway 89 corridor on July 25th left a trail of hail and terror, pummeled gardens and grain fields, and snapped and uprooted trees from Dwipur south through Fairfield. Totally fluxed. Like this. Like boom fluxed. The storm also brought the first measurable precipitation in weeks after they were burning up, they were flooded out, and everything snapped, and they were totally fluxed. Whew, almost slipped there. Sorry, FCC. Hail on Highway 22 makes it look like December instead of July. What the f Ow! Oh, you're a non-scientist. Why scientific fraud is okay? It's really okay because you're a fucking fraud. Yes, climate change, our favorite religion. Al, it's snowing in the in July. You Highway 22 South Alberta traveling 22 Longview was impacted by a freak hailstorm as predicted by us yesterday. Man, it was freak. No one saw it coming, not even this guy. <laughs> what a D-bag. Look at the smarmy smile on his face as he collects the ducats, snow and hail blankets, South Alberta Highway. Again, we just showed you this and we'll show it to you some more. For a fact, storm covered an area in South Alberta with hail and ice. And Al Gore was nowhere to be found, this prick. Why? Because Gore's a whore. And global warming's good for business. Hail in July sucks. Yeah, it's true. Sasha Selby says they went from summer to winter in a hurry on Tuesday, driving along Highway 22 from Calgary. Totally flux drivers near the Crow's Nest Pass. Crow's Nest, sorry. Were met with some decidedly unseasonable conditions on Tuesday night. <laughs> Highway 22 in southern Alberta was blanketed in what looked like snow, but was probably hail. But we'll call it snow. It doesn't matter. He's still a whore. And that's still... Crazy in the middle of July in the Northern Hemisphere where this area would be expected to build ice <laughs> because we're glaciating. Mm. Let's move south where it's really winter in the Southern Hemisphere. And it doesn't uh, look any better down there, but neither does our bandwidth or anything that could possibly ever load. Survivor says Mexico plane hit bursts of hail before the crash by Christopher Sherman from Data Press. Coming out this morning, you could see people. There's the wreckage. In this photo released by Red Cross Durango Communications Office, Red Cross workers and rescue workers carry an injured person on a stretcher. Durango, Mexico, passenger aboard a flight that crashed on takeoff said a strong burst of wind and hail hit the Aeromexico jetliner, Perry knocking it back to the ground, where only moments to evacuate before it burned. Holy hail. And we're having bandwidth issues, and it's now working. Drought brings big worries for farmers across North Europe. I've never seen this type of hot and dry weather. I've been farming for over 30 years, one farmer in Finland said. I'll let you read this. We're trying to get through here, guys. UK farmer to hold drought summit with government over food supply fears. Coming out again today. Farmers are to hold a drought summit with government officials on Wednesday as Britain's food supply comes under threat due to the driest start of the summer in, since records began, just as we predicted. The heavy rains and extreme hail caused flash flooding in Central Europe as well as crop loss and destruction of property. Totally fluxed. Seismic update, no quakes of note. 
Here we have a large tremor here in the Karakoram, China. 5.3 Papua New Guinea. Probably associated with volcanic activity in Papua John, Mexico. And I don't, and that's not Papa John's. They're not doing good. <laughs> but no other quakes of note. Thankfully, volcanoes are waking up, and we're about to talk about Kayambe. Worldwide volcano news update. We have Dukono, Reventador, Sabancaya, volcanic ash. Dukono, continuous volcanic ash. Popo, Reventador, Torialba, Sakurajima. Now, <coughs> Reventador's closest neighbor to the west. Kayambe. And this baby hasn't erupted since 1780, and it erupts typically at VEI4, violent explosions. There are cubic kilometers of glaciers on the summit here, which is going to cause massive lahars, similar to Mount St. Helens. This is a very dangerous volcano that is waking up. Sakurajima exploded in the last 24 hours, keeping up with its pattern. And let's come to Kayambe in Ecuador. Increased earthquakes show the volcano has been restless. The second uptick since 1780 in recent months. Here you can see it peaking on the uh, 13th, still in the red zone. So we're going to be watching this closely because this baby blows in cosmic ray flux periods only. Low solar activity periods here. And this is going to be a precursor to one of the larger explosions, in my opinion. Guys, thank you for sticking through to the end of this video. We're going to edit out that dead air. Times are changing, and we're organizing. A plan of action needs to be in effect, because when our magnetic field flips, say goodbye to modern life. It's happened time immemorial. The bond cycle is in a thousand-year cycle. Back in 1000 AD, we were back in a warm period, and the empire failed. Yeah, the medieval warm ended. The Vikings were destroyed. All of their sheep froze to death on Greenland. Just like Greenland is building ice now, all of the sheep in Greenland are freezing to death. Only it's even colder than it was back then, because there are no f***ing sheep on Greenland. Roman period, 1,000 years before the medieval warm, Unless AI takes over. David Dubai will get off island somewhere in the middle of nowhere. He's picking up what we're putting down. You guys subscribe. Every one of you. Learn to defend yourself. Computers boom.